Hi everyone, it's Tommy here, aka Gadgets Boy, and we're here to take a look at the new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and the Samsung Galaxy Gear. First, let's take a closer look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So the first thing you notice about the new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is the new design. So Samsung have taken away the polycarbonate back cover and they've replaced it with a leather feeling on the back. It gives it that soft touch and it almost feels like a real note when you're holding it in your hand. Just like the Samsung Galaxy S4, you also have a variety of accessories available from various different colours of covers. And you've also got the S View cover which allows you to sort of preview what's going on on the screen before you actually do anything. You can also use the S Pen on the S View cover as well. The new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is built for productivity. It's running a nice 2.3 gigahertz quad-core processor that's coupled with a nice 3 gig of RAM as well as 3,200 million power battery. And all that battery power means is if you're watching the HD movie, you can watch it for extra four hours of battery life. With the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, you get 5.7 full HD display and that's Super AMOLED as well, which saves battery life and also means you can use it comfortably well in direct sunlight situation. In comparison to the previous model, the new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 now features a 13 megapixel camera. It's capable of shooting 1080p videos. And when you really want to get really creative, you can shoot at a really high resolution of 4K. Let's take a photo. The S Pen is still there on the new Samsung Galaxy Note 3 as well. And that's what makes it the Note that it is today. So let's take a look at some of the new features. So you got a new interface and to get that hop all you need to just point your pen, you see a tiny little dot, you push the button uh, on the S Pen and that allows you to bring up the new uh, options available there. So going around there, you can see what they are. So you got your action memo, you got scrapbook, moving along, you, you got screen write, you got S Finder and you've also got your pen window as well. So looking at action memo, uh, this allows you to create extra actions in your memo when you create your notes. For example, if you type in a number, you'll be able to link that up with your phone book. If you write an address, you'll be able to link that up with a map. If you write an email, you'll be able to link that with an email address and so on. Also on Air Command, you've also got your scrapbooker. And what that allows you to do is collect content from anywhere in the device. So you can connect, uh, for example, we can collect this content here and we can add notes onto it. And what they've also done to this is you can add tags as well. So you can call that your scrap, for example. And that allows it to be easily found if you need to then search for it later. You can add a new memo to it so you remember what it is. You can Android it, you can type it in, whatever you want to do. And what's also great about this is it doesn't matter where you collect your content from. So if you collect this from a website, for example, you can then go back to it and you will link back to the source where you actually got the content from. On Air Command, we also have the screen write uh, feature as well. So if we go into that, what that does is it takes a screenshot of whatever you're in. So it could be a website, it could be a family photo, whatever you want to do. And then you can write any notes that you like on it. So it could be a map result as well, for example. So you can then write a note and it to say, meet me here and then send it to a family friend, for example. And that's what that does. So next on the Air Command wheel is the S Finder. And that allows you to search for anything on the device. So you can search for words. You can actually look in your handwriting as well. So previous handwriting that you've done before, you can look into there to find what you're searching for. You can also search the web as well. You can search on Google search engine, Yahoo, as well as Bing. You can look for past 30 days, past seven days. You can look in your communications, your notes, your emails. It's absolutely amazing. The last feature on the Air Command wheel is the pen window. This is really amazing and it shows the actual multitask inside of this uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Just imagine you're doing your business notes and you need to add up large sums of numbers and whatnot. So you can just literally just draw on the screen and you can select one of these applications here. So you can select the calculator and then you can do your maths calculation there. So I don't know, 1000 multiplied by 12. So that gives me the sum that I need. I can then take that on and carry on doing whatever I'm doing in the background as you can see there. So I can even drag that around as well. I can, I can make, it, make, it, make it bigger, whatever I want to do really. It's really, really great. And it shows that multitask inside of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Anyone who owns the previous Samsung Galaxy Note range will know the multi window feature on the Samsung Galaxy Note range. So the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 has taken that a little bit further. So what you can now do is you can run the same application twice in the multi window. So just to show you how that works, what you can do is for example, we can run chat on application twice. So if you drag the first one to the top, we can then drag the second one right to the bottom as well. And what that allows me to do is I can chat to Andrew here on the top area. And I can, if I scroll down, see if I've got any other friends available. 
Uh, scroll up. We can talk to Jennifer at the, at the bottom area there. So as you can see there, I've just sent an image to Jennifer there. So, but Alfred is telling, telling me as well up top saying, I want to see that picture, I want to see that picture. So all I need to do is rather than go to attach that same picture again, I can simply press and hold that and drag it to the top as well. So your Samsung Galaxy Gear is a true companion to your Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So you can do something like make a phone call, small screen on there, larger screen on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. But it doesn't stop there. There are various other options on there that you can have a look at. So what you need to do is watch your other video to find out about the other features of the Samsung Galaxy Gear. Subscribe to SBTV to keep updated on the latest releases and check out more of our videos below.